Hello and welcome to Infinity. This is a bit of a techie video in the calculations behind the colour selection Delta E76 and E94. Uh, I referenced 2000 as well, but it's too complex to make a macro out of. So anyway, let's just have a look at this. It's not going to one in great detail, but it's just one I did to sort of kind of show something of it. So CIE, um, the body that sets up colour, um, Delta Delta E colour comparison. Um, so it's about perceptual difference. That's one of the key things about it. It's trying to say how can, when, you know, when do you see a difference between two colours? You can measure the RGB, but you take one with a, just one point difference. You won't notice. And the E in here stands for Empfindung. Uh, you knew that, didn't you? Uh, German for sensation. And this this thing here about just noticeable difference. And it's about trying to calculate that. Started off in 1976 and then there were revisions in 94 and 2000. So what actually happens, the way that they, what the algorithm is doing for every single pixel on the image. So if you've got a 40 megapixel image and it does 40,000 times, is you take the RGB, you transform it into an intermediate format called XYZ. You then transform it again into the LAB. So it's not a direct link from RGB to LAB other than via XYZ. Then you take the second pixel because you're comparing two pixels. So the comparison value and you convert that as well. And then you do a magic formula which is the delta E thing which calculates the comparison and says how are these different which gives you kind of this similarity value. So the XYZ um, it's about perceptual uh, differences so the eye response so this is uh, nanometers wavelength down here and this is you know not to 100 percent and basically you can see here the blue or the short wavelength uh, is kind of separate whether the green and the red are which the medium and long wavelength are pretty much overlap but it kind of, kind of takes note of that. So why is luminosity Z is blue and X in this XYZ format? X is a mix of curves now what is that? I have no idea um, but it is a common intermediate standard for translating between things and it's calculated like this which is basically it's a it's not as bad as it looks. It is a matrix multiplication in which you're multiplying oh, everything by everything. Anyway, the, the Wikipedia page is on it will explain it more. Um, LAB, lightness A and B, is based on also on the, the way the eye works, but this is in the way that it takes the RGB data in the eye and encodes it to go back to the brain. And it does that different, not by RGB. Uh, and this colour space here is, is a game based on the eye to brain. It's called the opponent process model. I have no idea who came up with that. Where L is luminosity, so you separate out the black and white as you do in other models like CMYK. And A is the red, green, and B is the blue, yellow. So you've got the B down here and A is here. So effectively you've got the colour wheel here. And this is telling you where it is, the, the A and B. So... The LAB calculation looks a bit like this. So you've got LAB here, and then you've got the XYZ, which you calculated before. And then you've got sort of constant values here and you know other calculations here. Just and in, in the macros, I just plug these numbers in. And uh, the Delta E76 calculation is is like this, you know, with the, the, the LAB of the you know the original and the target colours. And so it's a kind of like a root mean square calculation. And 94 is a bit more complicated. It's like this where you got a, this pre-calculation and uh, I had to go at that as well. And the 2000 just gets too complicated. You've got cos and things like this. It's just going to take a bit long time. You might be able to do it but it would just, I think this the processing time would be too high. But fortunately to help you along the way, not to do the whole thing but in steps, there is code available. So the RG, Easy RGB site, for example, here does a RGB to XYZ. So you can use this as a basis on which to 
do the overall calculation, which looks something like this. This is my you know spreadsheet I use to develop macros. So up here are the variables, the slides and so on you'll get on the actual procedural texture here. Then I just write down the this like it's just already a bit of code. I can put comments down here. Then I do concatenation. So I just concatenate this and this and this and then concatenate the others and I'll concatenate the concatenations. And then the notes tabs I use for just exploring and notes and so on. So overall, that is the way that the macros work and the the way that the calculations are done and where it's derived from. Try it out, see what you think. Just go to the Delta E, these two, see, see a difference, it's not a lot. This one's just a little bit more, but it'll take a little bit longer. Anyway, that's it, and thank you very much for watching.